everybody, it's good to have you here, Angela again, and as you can see the weather is cold, got to get that out the way because I'm like dressed up with this fleecy hoodie which goes down to my knees and is oversized and is keeping me really warm. So um, today I'm going to share with you a project that I'm going to put into both of these journals. I'm going to show you the little preview of what I have done for the Christmas one and then we're going to do the autumn one together, so I hope you're excited about that. Right, if you're new to my channel, I just want to say a very warm welcome and I hope that you feel inspired by what I share with you today. Give it a try, you know, you never know. Now guys, this can go into any theme, you know that. I'm using my Christmas Memories Journal Kit uh, or collection that is available in my shops. The details are below this uh, video in the description box. All right, so I won't say any more about that. Now, this is the signature that I've put together to house all the days of Christmas for December for this year. And I'm going to take you to dun, 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 the centerfold because that's what I've done. I was working on this yesterday. So I'm going to open that up. And that is what we are going to be looking at today and making. So that is a lot to see. I'm going to take you through both sides and I'm hoping that we can complete the whole thing today within the half an hour slot. If not, we'll have to break it into two parts, but fingers crossed. All right, so I'm going to start on the left hand side here. This is a lovely um, double pocket. Uh, so we've got a pocket over there. And uh, we have a pocket at the back over there and I have stuck some pictures on the front. We have a gorgeous postcard. I've put in some ribbon and another little piece of ephemera from my ephemera pack. Those go in there. I do love these colours. You can't go wrong, can you? And then a nice little one of my envelopes from my add-on uh, kit and that goes in there now you, this is a great place to store christmas photographs or memories or those little gift cards i like to keep those um and that's a great place to put all of those so i'm going to put this in there so we'll we'll be making that and then on this side um we have a lovely snowman <laughs> image there from my kit i've decorated this up with snowflakes um you know colors of christmas with die cuts sentiments a little bit of lace and i do like that image there now we've got two tags on the side so we've got two tags here sorry these two so those are ever so cute and those fit into pockets over here so that's great um i'll get to the pocket at the top here as i turn over so as we turn over we've got the little tag at the top which you can turn around um, and we've also got another tag over here all right so we've got a pocket there we've got a pocket there i actually stuck this onto a piece over here so you could actually have this as a pocket as well so there is another little place there now again a great place to stick a little photograph lots of journaling space here and of course on all the tags I use the sentiments there which i really love so we've got lots of tags and goodies and then on this side of the page again another pocket and we've got a tag and two little journal cards again from my ephemera um, collection for this kit all right, so that's the whole project. That was a lot to take in, wasn't it? Right, I'm going to move that to the side, and that journal. So that whole journal, we'll just put that to the side. Okay, so we're going to do this in our autumn journal, also for the sun to spread. I'm going to talk you through the components, and then we'll put it all together on the page. Now, the first thing I grabbed was this oversized envelope. Now, this envelope um, is just one that you probably get with a card, a gift card. I have stuck down the flap here. So that's done. Um, and then what the measurements are, are six and a half inches or 16.2 centimeters by 22.8 centimeters or nine inches. All right, so that's that measurement. And then uh, four and a quarter inches from the left, I did fold it over there. Um, so it's not quite in half. All right, so four and a half inches from the left. I folded it over and as you can see you've got a little bit over 
Um, so go and have a look at any of the Christmas cards that you might be getting. They're envelopes and hang on to those. Um, I haven't opened up anywhere here. The only place we're going to open up is on the side over here. All right, so let's do that. Let's grab that. The rest of the envelope is going to stay sealed. Now you could take this even further and do even more with it. But this is what I'm doing with this today. And I'm just taking a little um, sliver off the end there, really thin, just to open up the side on the shorter flap. All right, so that means that's open. All right, so that's the first thing that you want to do. Now, I want to make this into two separate pockets for my tags. So all I'm going to do here is I want to find the middle bit. So it was six and a half. So I'm just using my board here and I'm going to go in the middle here. So that's three and an eighth probably. Um, and drawing a line there. Now, what you can do is you can sew it, which is what I did do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my sewing machine and sew there. Alternatively, draw the line on the inside all right so measure that line on the inside and just put a bead of glue there all right on the inside and that will then make two separate pockets okay so i'm going to do that ever so quickly and i'll be back here okay so you can see i've just stitched across the middle there so now you've got two separate little pockets okay so we've got our little envelope like this now any size envelope will do principle is the same um, I've just left that gap there which is about three quarters of an inch all right so that's what it is it's about two centimeters there or thereabouts I'm not exactly sure what three quarters I think it's 15 mil all right so there we're going to now put some goodies on the front here so I have taken my mini page and I've measured it to fit here now of course it's too short but that's okay I've cut this bit there and then I've just stuck on these two die cuts there and this one here. Now I've stuck these on just to save time because there's a lot to do today. All right, so this is ready to go onto this bit over here. So we're going to go and stick that down on the top. So how's everybody been getting on with their Christmas shopping if you celebrate Christmas or any other holiday? I don't actually know if in any of the other religious holidays, if there are gifts involved with Hanukkah or, um, you know, any of the other religions that I don't even know what other religions celebrate. I know it's not Eid because that moves all the year long, but, you know, you never know. It could be around this time. Um but yeah, it's um, lots to do. And I, I must say, I'm not a, I don't, Christmas is not about the gifts for me. Obviously, it's for me. I enjoy the time with my kids and the lovely dinner and all the friends and family. So that is really, I could do without the gifts, really. But um, I do like the cards, funny enough. I love getting a card. Um, it does make me smile. So, yeah, and having said that, I'm way behind on doing cards. I haven't even started. So it's it's going to have to be charity board cards this year because I just haven't had the time to make them, which is really sad, really. OK, so I've got that bit on. I forgot to say I've just taken a scrap of the Burgundy Distress Stripe. It comes from my background um, journal pages, which you've seen me use. And I like to use them um, in the kit, um, you know, linked that match with the colours. So that's that one. I've just torn a little piece there. It's about an inch just to fit the bottom of that section. And then I've got this lovely lace that came in the bundle. And I'm going to just stick this down. So that I'm just checking there's a right side or, or not so right side. So we're just going to get some of this down. I don't want to get the glue too thick. Okay, so that looks lovely. I'm loving it already. 
I did enjoy putting the Christmas one together, but when I saw the, the papers that I chose for the autumn one, oh, that jumped right over there. I really loved how the how these came together as well. So I don't know which is my favorite now. Okay, so we still have our two pockets there. I have stitched in the middle, as you saw me share with you. And we have our front all ready to go. So that's great. Now, the left-hand panel, I have clipped what I want to do. So that's what I want to do. I've got these three die cuts in the colors um, that I'm using. I've taken this little sentiment, every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. Emily Bronte, what a lovely quote. Bring all my old English teacher quotes in. Gotta love reading. Um, so, and then this page came from my mini kit. It's a lovely neutral page and I wanted to use it in here. Now, I'm not gonna stick this down at the minute. <laughs> I just, just crossed my mind when I was about to um, because I need to show you the pockets that are gonna go on here. But what I will do is I wanna stick these down in that arrangement just there with this just there. So I'm gonna do that um, quickly. Sorry. Okay, so I've just stuck on the three leaves there and added the sentiment, which I think really makes that page very pretty. So I'm gonna leave that there for the moment because that's where it's gonna go. But I want to show you how I made my pockets, all right? So I cut two the two pieces of paper straight in half. Okay, so um, I took all of both two of these, one for the, the sort of the burgundy background and one for the green. And I'm just going to put that aside there quickly. What I did was I've measured four inches from the left, then a further four inches and then one inch and I've cut it off. All right, so just to do that quickly with my pair of scissors, um, it's nine inches long. So you wanna make uh, a score line, two score lines here, all right. In centimeters, it's 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters and 2.5. So that's what we've done there. And then all it is is score at the first four inch mark, like that. Then the second four inch mark, like that. And then your last inch is left over there. So 10, 10 and 2.5 centimeters. Then you just want to fold that there, match up the, the edges, fold that along there. And then you wanna just fold this, okay, like that, all right. There we go. And that's the pocket that we're making. Very simple. Now, you want it open at the top here. Um, we're going to close it at the base there. All right. Now, one of my pockets, this one, is going to have its flap on the right. And my other pocket is going to have its flap this way. Now, because they're stripes, there's no direction for them. So just make sure that you do both the same, but you have one this way and the other one that way. All right, so I've made it slightly different for this one. Okay, now you'll know which one is the top, and I do. I would suggest you do this before you go further because um, that way you'll know which way you, you is the top and you won't get confused when you stick them down. So we live and learn, and that's what I did. All right, so I'm just going to take my one and three quarter inch punch. It doesn't matter which one it is. It's the one I've got four of these different sizes. I've grabbed the closest and it's just a case of saying, okay, that's the, the top. So this is where I want the top to be. And then just make your little thumb hole thingy over here. All right. Now, you know, that's the top. There's no getting it wrong. And then take the other one. I tuck the other one behind so I get it in the same spot, but you can do whatever you choose. All right, now I know which way things are going. Now, all you need to do, and I've just got it with the one here because I've made these already, um, is you just want to seal the base with glue or stitch it, whatever you choose. So it's just the base that you need to do that with. And then along here. All right, keep the glue close to the edge. Just like that. 
there we go so you've got your glue there and your glue there and you now have a pocket all right so there you have it like that all right so there we go that it's as simple as that now as i said you want one in the green you want one in the burgundy distress stripe which i have done okay so let me show you here's the green one i've just stuck i stitched around mine um i've taken the burgundy uh, gingham check and i have cut out a larger piece here this one on mine is it doesn't matter you can just gauge this is three and a half inches um by three and then i've stuck one of my sentiments onto the top there and just put on one of the little die cuts all right so that's what i've done there and that one's got the flap on that side as i said i've just distressed it and that's the first one then i've done the same with the next one three and a half inches by three for this green gingham me bit i've taken one of the little sentiments put on a little die cut and this flaps on the left hand side so i've closed it up so that's what we've got one like that and one like that now they are going to overlap slightly all right they are but that's okay too all right so we want to take this one now we're going to start with the top one we've got our flap on the left we're going to match it with the top line there and we're just going to tap it so that we know it's going to fit nicely and just lift that there and we're going to stick it down now don't put the glue too close to the fold it'll seep through the other side and stick it and then tear your paper i've had that happen to me before <laughs> so i tend to stay away from the actual very edge right so there's the first one all right and then we have got this one we're going to stick this one match it with the bottom on this occasion like that all right um and then hold that down and do the same yeah. all right so we've got our two flaps now we've got one there and one there perfect okay so we can now stick this down over here so let's do that we just put glue all over the back now you could make a third pocket by only putting glue there and having a tag but i think because there's a tag over here I was happy just with what I have. There are many ways to do these sorts of things though. So, you know, um, have a try and come up with some exciting ways that you can do these sorts of things. I love working with this kind of thing. Right, so now we'll get this done here. We're gonna just get it to the edge and the edge on this side. Okay, just open it up. And run your hand across the middle bit here. Oh, what's that? Right. Okay. We've got that there. We've got that there. That's fantastic. Right. So that should lie nice and flat now. So we'll just make sure by using our bone folder. Here we go. All right. So it's coming along perfectly right now this larger section over here um i've got a couple of bits i've taken the lovely um blush one with the um leaves on and i love this page i thought that would be great and we're going to stick that down ever so quickly so we'll get that sorted gosh i'm nice and toasty in my little furry suit here and no heating on abby's got her furry suit on as well with the four legs that i've put on the video the other day <laughs> oh so yes it goes right down to her paws so she was very grateful when she ran outside today because it is very cold cold for us right so there we go that's all done that looks great and when we look at that you got that nice bit shining through there why is this bit um shining through there i didn't want that so i might have to just move that over a little bit like that yeah let's try it okay that looks that looks a lot better right i uh, will just take my 
Distress Ink and um, do this. Okay, right, that's better. Okay, um, so we've got those two there. And then just a little pocket, a little pocket with the background page. And I'm going to stick that just over there. So again, trying to just get some glue on. There we go. Oh, I saw the most wonderful suggestions for Christmas films that you guys um, shared with me. And yes, I have been watching films with my daughter for a few weeks now. We did start that in the middle of November already, I think. I'm not sure of the exact date, but um, we're all the favourites. And I was smiling as I was reading all those that you shared with me. It was just amazing. Right, I've got a little bit of lace here. I'm going to just stick that across the middle there. Uh, and then um, we have got this one, Autumn Skies and Pumpkin Pies. I love that. So I'm going to stick that across there as well. And that'll finish off that section as well. Okie dokes. So there we go on that front. Okay, it's all coming together here now. So that's those two. We've got these two and um, we'll just press that all down nicely. It does tend to get a little bit bulky. I'm just going to put it on my little clips here just to keep it down for a bit. But once it's been in your book or, you know, you've put it into your signature, it, it'll lie nice and flat. So I'm just going to leave that over there so long while I do the next piece. Right, so I want to do the next little piece um, for the other side of the page now. So I've gone with this background page and I've written some measurements on the back here. So I have cut this um, seven inches high and the full length of the page. And I've made a little alteration if you're doing it with a eight and a, um, sorry, an 11 inch, which is American, or the 11.75 if you are from the UK. Right, so this is what you need to do. Take the first inch. Now, if it's the UK, you can take an inch and a half, but it doesn't matter. An inch will be enough on this side. Okay, so it's an inch or inch and a half, whichever length of paper you have. Then measure a further three and one quarter of an inch or eight centimeters. All right, so this is four centimeters. This is eight centimeters. Make a little mark. Then a further 12 centimeters and five centimeters so i'll say that again in inches one inch three and a quarter inches four and three quarter inches and two inches all right that should make 11 inches and score along these lines here so you'll have the line from the first mark the second the third and the fourth and you will score along those lines now i've done it on a piece of paper so i'm going to share that with you cut out already so i've got this piece of paper now that looks like this and i've scored along those lines so to match it up with what i told you you've got your one inch you've got your three and three quarter your four and a quarter and your two inch all right so that's what we've got now you want to take this bit over here and you want to turn that down you want to also turn that down all right so you've got these two bits there now you can stick these two down because ultimately we're going to go like that all right so let's stick this one down so this is the the one inch side okay that's why i say it doesn't matter if it's longer or not and then that will ultimately go like that so you can stick this one down as well okay there we go and then you take that bit and we'll end up sticking that down now what i did was i'm going to use this as my front flap for my decoration so i took a piece of my green gigan now just to bring out some of the green this one is uh three inches by seven inches so seven by three so seven and a half uh, centimeters and seven inches in centimeters is probably about 18 yeah 18 jeez that was a good guess all right and then we're going to end up sticking that on there 
All right, so I have then also taken these two little images from my ephemera kit and I want to put one over there and one over there. All right, so it's just bringing that interest. So I'm going to stick this down first. I've just used my tear ruler. You can use whatever you have. You don't need to do anything. You can just cut it with scissors or, you know, keep the edges straight if you like. The choices are all yours. And I'm going to just stick this on here. Now, with my Christmas one, I actually stitched around the edges of the little images. Um, I did that. But I'm going to stick this one down. I think I'm going to do the same with this. So if you're going to stitch, you want to do it before you stick that down. So that's why I've still got this side open. And I'm going to just put glue in the middle here because I'm going to stitch around the edge. If you're not going to stitch, which is not a must, I might add. I just want to see where this one's going to go before I put this one down. Um, then use more glue and go toward the edge. Okay, so we've got that one there. And then I will do the same here like that. So I'm going to just do some stitching purely for decorative purposes, nothing more. And I'll be back here in a moment. Okay, so you can see I've just stitched on the back there um, and that makes a nice decorative image. But of course, it's not a necessity. Now, all that remains to do is to affix this edge here. So it's just a case of gluing there and there or what I'm going to do again is stitching right around the edge there. All right. Okay, so I've just stitched right around there now and our pocket is finished, our double pocket. So we just want to assemble everything now. So that's exciting. So I've got my um, autumn journal signature here. I have made a quick change here. Um, I did have this page as the center, but I decided to go with colors that weren't peach. So I've just inverted that. So that goes nicely with that. I've left this like this and the page that was just below this was the lace page. So I'm going to use this lace page to put everything as my center spread. All right, so with this one, I'm going to stick this over here. Now here's the middle, all right? So you wanna be able to have a little bit of uh, area there. Okay, so I'm just grabbing my pencil and um, I'm just positioning this where I want it. So I'm just sort of making sure it's even on both sides. I'm gonna draw my little lines here. That just helps me position it when I've got the glue on. And then hold it on the side where the glue is and then very close to the edge here I'm going to just put in put on my glue like that and then um, you don't want to make this too thick and then not too thin then it's not going to hold but you do want to um, not make it spread too much and then my little lines because now I don't have to think about it too much are great my little guidelines there okay so we can just put that down and let that dry while we do the other side so that's great you can also add some of the little leaves um stamping again if you like that maybe we should do it on this side so that one's gonna not that way <laughs> that way like that and i think i'm gonna put on some of the little leaves Right, so I'm going to give it a go with the edge mahogany, the bundled sage and the fossilized amber. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that one, but I'm definitely going to be doing this one. So I've got my little stamps out again from Stampers Anonymous, the, fossil, uh, the pressed foliage. Love these. And I'm going to just try a few of these. So I'm going to got my piece of paper underneath just so that I don't mess up the board. And they work really well with these. Uh, distress ones I'm just going to do them on the edges really so um, you know something like this and then might get another bit of it that I didn't press down over there so not too much really um, that was fine and then a little bit of the bundled sage to bring in some of the green 
I quite like doing that. It worked so well the, the other time. I quite I like the effect. So, yeah, here we're going to press on that side. And then possibly this side. There we go. Yeah. And then, um, should we put in some of the fossilized amber? Let's have a little look. Oh, let's take one of these. Bring in a bit of the gold. Okay, so we'll just have a little bit here. And a little bit here. I think it just adds interest, doesn't it? So if we put that there, how gorgeous is that? Now I suppose I need to do something on this side. So let's just give that a, a quick whirl. All right, so I have done a little bit of stamping there just for our center spread and I'm loving it with the leaves. We've got this bit now to stick down. So again, you can stick it on three sides there um, and have the tab at the back if you like through, if you slit that pocket there, you could put it in through there if you like or an extra one over there. So it is endless. Um, I am going to just stick that completely down but there are many different options here so yeah give it a go that's what i say let's see i should have drawn the lines now right so we want to get this down like that i think that's about it i'm going to open this up and then just press this down nicely like that okay so there we go we've got it all sorted now it's a case of putting in loads and loads look at all of that all that ephemera all right so we'll start over here now <laughs> i'm hoping my envelope's going to fit so that's the envelope from my kit i stuck on two little fussy cuts from the background page and put in that lovely Hal Borland uh, quote and that's going to hopefully fit in here it might not so <laughs> it won't I'll have to come back to that and and um, get that to fit in there in a moment I didn't think it was when I was putting this together I thought oh I think the envelope's too big right so I'm going to put that in there like that and then I'm going to, I've got another little one here that I've, I've got specially, if I can find it, here it is. Um, so we've got that gorgeous one that's going to go in there. And I've just put two little um, ribbons on there. All right, so on this side now, we've got the little bits to go in here. So I've taken a mini page again. So much ephemera, I can't find what I want. Um, this was a mini page like that, and I've just cut them to fit into here. So these are, what are they? Uh, three and a half by four and a half. So four and a half by three and a half inches. So I'm going to just put one in here, like that. It, it never wants to work when I want to film it, does it? So we've got one in there, and then we've got one in here. There we go. Then over on this side, I've got the big tag, the big tag, and that's going to peek through, so that's nice. And then um, I've got a little bit of that and a little bit of this. Now, that's ample for in here. You've got place to write you've got some notes you can you can put together in there i am going to turn this the other way just so that it, i get the the sort of visual that i'm going for here 
Let's see if I can ever open the pocket again. There we go. No, it's not in the pocket. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right, so we've got that over there. And another little ribbon peeking out over there. And then um, we've got our two little tags to go into the side here. So that one's going to go in there, into that pocket. And then this one's going to go into this pocket. There we go. And those little ears can just go up like that. So it is a chunky uh, little bit there. But it is your center spread. And it's got loads to go in there. So I must just sort out my envelope for the other side. So let me do that quickly and I'll be back here. Okay, my... so I did manage to just loosen the sides just a little bit here um, because the glue sort of spreads out when you put it in. And I have managed to get in the little envelope over there. So that's all worked out <laughs> all right. So yeah. All right, I love how this has come together. I hope that you like it too. So we've got a beautiful autumn one here with all our bits and pieces put in. Um, and that's really lovely. Um, so really happy with that one. And then of course, the one that we did for Christmas as well. So that's this one over here. And I'm not actually sure which one I prefer. I love both of them, but I think I like this one more. So you can let me know which, which one you prefer. And I hope that you give this a try. Um, we had a few variations, not many, but um, they look great in any theme, as you can see. And our journals are coming along nicely. Now, I'll have a little project for you tomorrow. It's going to be a smaller project, I'm sure. Um, we also have um, the journals of mine going into the shop at the very same time that that um, video will break. I think I will put that video out just about 10 minutes before um, or so, a little bit earlier, and then um, the shop um, will open with the listings of the journals for sale at the time that I said. All right, so that is GMT time, not 001 AM. All right, on Saturday, if you're in the UK or Friday, with all the times as I've listed. Okay, guys, um, thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow with a quick little project. It's going to be much quicker. I hope that you give this a try. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you again. Thank you for popping by, as always. You're amazing, and don't let anyone tell you anything else. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.